Hey guys, Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Chopper here to break down Monday's slate and uh, going to end up focusing mostly on baseball here because uh, what other choices do we really have? There is no NBA game today. NHL, there is one hockey game, but we actually don't have any plus EV projected bets, at least not in the morning. That could change later on the day, but at least as of now, nothing we're projecting out is a really good bet for the hockey game. So that leaves us with baseball to talk about. And we still got a bunch of baseball games and some good looking bets, some of them on the screen already and uh gonna be breaking those down and some of my favorite ones in a second so as you guys come in like the video subscribe to the youtube channel if you want access to odd shopper totally for free click on the link that we have below it's going to get you a seven day free trial and you're going to find bets for pretty much every single sport out there i know that for today mostly focusing on baseball but we've got the basketball eastern and western conference finals about to start followed by the nba finals then hey before you know it football is going to be here as well so we have pretty much everything covered here on Odd Shopper. And right now, I'm about to break down my favorite baseball bets and what we have projected. So uh, a lot of total base props for today, as you guys can see up on the screen. A lot of plus money bets, and uh, a couple of them coming from Bet 365. And uh, you see Freddie Freeman here, over one and a half total bases, is plus money at Bet 365. There's some other books also that have this around plus 120. We have this winning 48% of the time. So anytime you guys are going to be getting like plus 120 or better on two plus total basis for Freddie Freeman, makes sense. Same with Alex, Kier with Alex Kirloff here. So Kirloff heading into last year was one of the top hitting prospects for the Minnesota Twins. And generally we've seen him have success, whatever level it is that he's played at of baseball. And now this year we just saw him get called back up to Minnesota. And so far, just really, really good results for Kirloff. It's only been eight games, but in those eight games, he has a 258 WRC plus. So already he's produced actually half a win of value above replacement level in just eight games. So Kirilov off to a really good start. He projects really well this year. And in AAA, he also crushed this year. He had a 163 WRC plus, 10 games in AAA. He ended up hitting three homers. So uh, Kirilov plus money on over one and a half total bases also makes sense. Super similar here. We've got Freddie Freeman projected to win 48% of the time. Same with Kirilov, 48% of the time. So you get this plus 120 number. It's going to look really good on either of them. DraftKings plus 115, that is also playable. If you guys do not have an account over at Bet365, I assume a lot of you will at DraftKings. So there's a playable number on Kirilov on DK as well. Strikeouts. Here's a strikeout prop. I'll try to find some more strikeout props and uh, maybe scroll and see if we can find any home run props that are projecting well. So David Peterson does have a favorable matchup on paper against the Washington Nationals today. Now, with that said, though, uh, five and a half strikeouts, a little bit high for Peterson, who's not been working extremely deep into games this year and has really, really struggled. So Peterson, who uh, kind of has been on and off for the Mets in terms of like, if you just look at his ERAs by year, 2020, 3.44 ERA for Peterson, 2021, 5.54, so a lot worse last year. 3.83 ERA, and now this year, just a total train wreck for Peterson. 7.68 ERA, 5.26 expected ERA. So this weird trend where it's like Peterson's good, then he sucks, then he's good, then he sucks. I'll uh, see more of the same of that this year. And yeah, good matchup for him against the Washington Nationals, but it's just hard to trust Peterson considering how poorly he's pitched this year. So uh, I do like him for under five and a half strikeouts. He's on the road, Washington uh, is a uh, hitter-friendly park. The weather's also supposed to be hitter-friendly today. So under five and a half strikeouts for Peterson, definitely something I could get behind. We have it projected to win 65% of the time here. Bunch more total base props. Let's see if there's any more strikeout props, which there is under six and a half for Pablo Lopez. A good amount of juice on this, but once again, we have it projected to win 65% of the time and a really difficult matchup for Pablo Lopez on the road in Los Angeles against the Dodgers. Dodgers got off to a pretty slow start this year, but the offense is starting to click now, and this should be one of the most formidable offenses in all of baseball this year. And Pablo Lopez, while he has pitched well, this is a really difficult matchup for him going on the road in Los Angeles against the Dodgers. There's very few pitchers who I, I think would be projected to do super well in this spot. So under six and a half strikeouts for Pablo Lopez makes sense, even despite the juice when we have it projected to win 65% of the time. And somewhat related to that, James Outman, rookie standout for the Dodgers, the current betting favorite to win the National League Rookie of the Year. You could bet him for over 0.5 total base. Just need one hit out of James Outman, minus 115 today. Uh, let's see if there are any 
other strikeout props or anything else. Here we got a couple of run to be scored in the first innings props. We've got one, Cubs and Astros. That is plus money for there to be a run scored in the first inning. Anything you get plus money here is going to make sense. We just projected to win 50% of the time, so a coin flip. But the coin flip was paying out plus 107. That is pretty sensible. That's at Bet Rivers. Uh, and then you've also got Unibet has over 0.5 runs at plus 107. Same thing over here. Diamondbacks is a uh, total shit show of a series here. Both these teams are bad. Although, with that said, the Diamondbacks have been uh, exceeding expectations this year. The Oakland days, certainly not. But uh, another game here that we've projected as a positive bet for the run to be scored in the first inning. Let's see if it stands out for prize picks because uh, prize picks could give us pretty different options than some of the stuff that was standing out for baseball. All right, let's see. I took. I took the Jokic prop out because that game isn't today. I wonder what looks better. So this is a 13% expected ROI. What if we take Mateo out? That goes to negative six. All right, so we want Mateo back in. All right, so uh, not, not too, too much different to look at here. A lot of total base props. We do have one strikeout prop here from Brad Keller. Uh, nothing popping up for hockey on prize picks in our projections, but still we're able to build out a five-leg flex parlay with a 13% expected ROI. Jorge Mateo to have a hit, Brad Keller for under three and a half strikeouts, Brent Rooker to have a hit, James Altman once again for a hit, and the Mike Moustakis for a hit. That is a game in Coors Field, so that is a pretty favorable hitting environment. But overall, five-leg flex parlay here, a 13% expected ROI in our projections over prize picks. And uh, that's going to do it for me. A little bit of a shorter video today, which uh, will happen when we only have baseball to talk about and nothing popping up for basketball or for hockey. But that is subject to change later on in the day. And if you want to check out our free trial for Odd Shopper, click the link below. Seven days totally for free. And if you have any more questions or comments for myself, download Chalkboard. There's also a link for that below. Chalkboard is a chat app that is free to use. It's got a lot of betting features in it. It's also totally free to download our channel. So no risk to you at all. I post some additional bets in there and answer your guys' questions. We sweat some amount as well. So that does it for me. If you guys have not done yet, do me a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you had a great weekend. And let's start a great week. Win some bets. See you guys back here tomorrow.